to the Brick Den and another Starkiller Base update. Now before I give you a look at the progress I've made to Starkiller Base, I've recently visited the Lego store to get some more parts for this mock. Not only did I get these two Pick a Brick Cups, but I also got the two Force Awakens Micro Fighters which you can see here. Now I've already built this one, but now I'm just going to build this one really quickly. So overall, I would I would say that I prefer the Snow Speeder First Order Micro Fighter over here, just because I feel like this model here, you could actually see it in my Star Killer base mock without it looking too strange. As this one is a mini mini X Wing, which is a lot smaller than the actual craft and looks a bit odd, but still it suits the style. And I think basically you usually get these type of sets for the minifigures at least i do but i am quite satisfied with the build of this one i think i'll start taking parts off this one sooner than i will with the snow speeder but anyway now on to the pick a brick now in total i did get two pick a brick cups so i'll just empty them out and show the contents of both of them so this is all of the bricks that were in those two pick a brick cups now i'm just going to sort these out to show you all the separate bricks that i got so there is everything that I got in my latest pick a brick visit to the Lego store. So now it's time to take a look at the progress I've made to Starkiller Base. Now I won't be going over any of the sections that I didn't make any progress to in this video. You'll see them covered in later videos or previous videos. Also, none of the progress you see here has been made with that pick a brick cup I just opened. I'll show you the progress I make with that in the next update, which will hopefully include a bricklink order as well. To start off this video, uh, here you can see that I've built one of the cannons on Starkiller Base. Now this isn't based off any particular design seen in the film, it's just sort of my own made up one. Now I did use a lot of the pieces from the Force Awakens um, First Order Battle Pack to build this, although a lot of it is my own pieces as well. Moving back from the cannon you can see the trench area which I've not worked on really at all yet but you can see something that I've put in place from the last update but it's not very detailed yet so I'm going to work on that some more. Then behind that you can see the mountain cliff face which, are, which has been one of the main things I've been working on since the last update. This has taken me a very very long time as I'm not very quick at building mountain ranges. You can see that it starts off quite snowy and white and then as it goes up it turns into a more um, stony cliff face. Now on top of this hopefully is going to be the woods area with lots of um, big trees. The final and main section I've been working on in Starkiller Base is the inside. Now this is completely finished and is my favourite section that I've built so far. It is quite difficult to get a camera inside here so I may not be able to show it from all the angles that I might want to but I'm going to try and do the best that I possibly can. In this section is where the train drops off troops to this part of Starkiller Base. You can see here are the steps up to the second level walkways and also there is a small cliff face here as this is underground. On the upper level you can see a nice detailed wall which I'm very happy with and an another detailed wall down there which I've showed in the previous update. Now in here is the interrogation room which was featured in The Force Awakens. There are two entrances here and here and you can see in there I've got the interrogation chair but it hasn't got rayon at the moment it's got another resistance trooper. I've also got the crate where there are some ashes possibly in it and you can see that Kylo Ren's helmet is placed there like it was in the film. Leaving the interrogation room through the second exit you can see this bridge which is at an angle which was quite challenging although I think I just about managed to pull it off. This lend leads into this walkway which does continue down here but I'll talk about that part later. However if we go the other way we come to the entrance to Kylo Ren's quarters. In here is Kylo Ren with the Darth Vader helmet. I know this scene was I think in the film on the finaliser, the starship, but here I just decided to put it in Starkiller base. Also you can see there are some pipes on the wall and some other details as well. To get to the final area there are two entrance ways, this one here and also another one. This section is the prison part of the base. Now there are only two small prisons. 
The doors do slide open as you just saw and also you can see above this I've got a little bit of a detailed wall just to add some texture so it wasn't plain. This section up here is where a guard can look over the prison cells and that computer screen there would be to activate or deactivate the cell doors. So that's it for this update on Starkiller Base. Overall I'm very happy with the progress and I am extremely happy with the inside of Starkiller Base. I think it turned out extremely well in my opinion and looks very accurate. It is quite hard to capture up, capture on camera as it is fairly fairly small gaps where I can put the camera in and there's no way for me to get the tripod there so some of it is slightly unstable but hopefully I managed to capture it quite well. I'm also happy with the, the cannon. The mountain I think is okay but maybe could needs a little bit of work and hopefully will look better with the trees on top of it when it's all finished. So I hope you look forward to the next update but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like, comment and subscribe.